you know, the artists get more familiar with it, and use more of it, and we do usability improvements. Uh, you know, I think it's going to be spectacular. I mean, the, if you look at where our spaceships were when we first launched in 2012, and they got better in 2013, and 14, and 15, and 16, now you look at you know, what the, the, the vehicle team's turning out, and it's amazing, the same you can say on the characters. So, uh, so you know, I, yeah, I'm, I'm just excited by the gameplay possibilities that the text, because it's, you know, I, I mean, we get a lot of flack for like, oh, well, you know, you're, you're taking the time and the scope's increased, but the, the kind of gameplay that opens up because we can mm. flesh out these worlds, they're not just a, a very isolated landing area and you're sort of on a kind of, you know, maybe, you know, you, you don't have a loading screen, but you're still streaming in and you're on rails, go, rails going down there, which was the original design to whole play areas that are open planets with very, you know, different ecosystems. I mean, you could have, you know, all sorts of gameplay that you know you normally traditionally would not have in a sort of traditional space sim game. Yeah. Uh, you know you could have people stranded on a planet playing basically a version of a survival game. You can have people mm. playing domination to you know control their own parts of a planet that there's minerals they're fighting over. So the the, the possibilities of gameplay or adventuring or exploring. And, I mean it, it's like watching every sci-fi movie you've loved and you can create all those scenarios now and uh, th that's. Yeah, well, that, that's actually, it's a, it's a good point.